Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I want to talk to you about Doctrans GPT. Doctrans GPT, in a nutshell, is a translation tool that's powered by AI, and in particular, GPT 3.54 and the newly released 4.0 Turbo, and it allows you to create high quality translations into over 100 different languages. So in addition to the 100 or so languages you can translate into, this app is easy to use. You don't need to understand prompting, prompt engineering, you don't have to be an AI person. You literally can just copy in what you want, select the language you wanna translate it to, and hit the go button and it's done. That said, you can add in some additional parameters if you wish. For example, you can make it satirical or sarcastic or optimistic or humorous or whatever it is you want. You'll see a whole bunch of different options, but these are purely optional. Select them, use them if you want. Another thing I like about Doctrans GPT is it's multimodal. What do I mean by that? It's very simple. Of course, you can just copy in some text if you've got it, and it will do the translation, which is great. You just simply click on this little arrow and job done. That said, sometimes you have a document instead of the text. So if you have a PDF or a Word document or an Excel spreadsheet, etc., you can simply just drag and drop your document in and it will do the translation for you like I've already done here with this Alice in Wonderland document. So I've got the PDF of it. I just dragged and dropped it and then it sends you an email when it's ready to download. Do note that it accepts up to a 100 megabyte file. So if you've got big files with pictures in them, this should be no problem. It will cook it up and translate it for you. All right, so another thing I really like about Doctrans GPT is the ability to change the tone of the translation. What do I mean by that? If you look here at the bottom, you'll see here that I've got business selected. So you get a few options. It's selecting the domain. So in this case, I selected business because this is a business proposal example that I'm changing from English to French. But look at this. If I want to change the tone of the translation, in this case, I've chosen informal, but you can do friendly, cynical, confident, all these different options here. Uh, use whichever one you you know, you want to go with. And then in this case, in the last one here, we can select a writing style. So if you want to leave it as default, that's fine. But if you want it to be persuasive or instructive, if it's an educational, etc., etc., this is all built in there. Now, keep in mind that these are purely optional. If you want just apples to apples translation, you can just leave these as is. That said, you have some, you know, flexibility if you want to go ahead and change the style and tone. Also, you can use a custom prompt if you want. I'll click on this button down here at the bottom left. But you can go ahead and use an email format or if you're, you know, if you're reading Shakespeare, for example, you can use poem format as well. Just keep, a note, keep in mind, pardon me, that custom prompts may cause translation issues. So you can override and put your own custom prompt in if you so choose. So it's just a little bit more flexibility built into Doctrans GPT. Another thing you need to consider is how does Doctrans GPT compare to its competitors? And, well, there aren't too many really good, I suppose, translation services out there. The first one, and it's not that good anymore, but it was the first one and it did the job mostly, was Google Translate. Now, most people have gone from that and they've moved over to DeepL Pro. And this is basically the main competitor for Doctrans GPT. And here's the thing. DeepL, while great, Doctrans GPT uses GPT 3.5 and more importantly, the latest version of GPT-4, GPT-4 Turbo. And this is, according to pretty much everybody, the best translation or the best, basically the best AI in the world. Unless you've lived under a rock, this is where it's at. And in terms of competition, like if we go to the pricing, for example, if I go here to pricing plans, I'll just click one up here. You'll notice you get a free, free tier here. So that's great, GPT-3.5. You can upload 100 documents a month. You get 300,000 tokens which is actually quite a bit, and free. So there's that. The second thing is, is the starter plan where you get 1.5 million tokens and it uses GPT-4 Turbo, which is the latest version of GPT, and it's the best one. Well, this one gives you up to 1,000 documents a month, which is quite a bit, and 100 megabits per document. So if you're a business, for example, and you want to translate all your stuff from one language to another, well, guess what? This is probably the plan for you. And look at that. It's only six bucks a month. All right. If we go to Deep L, if we go to their pricing, we'll just click up here, plans and pricing. Yeah, it's not exactly apples to apples, but their starter plan is $11.24 uh, Canadian, which is about $8 and $9, $9, pardon me, USD-ish. So about 50% more on the basic plan. And it has some great stuff too. But uh, yeah, if you look down a little further, you'll see five editable file translations per month. 
that's not anywhere near enough in my personal opinion. And uh, yeah, they've got some restrictions like 10 megabytes in size and things like that. So, I mean, both are great, but I believe Doctrans GPT is better. It uses the latest GPT-4, which is the best of the best right now. So that's, in my opinion, the best one here to go with. So there you go. Take that with a grain of salt, but that's how I see it. All right, so that's Doctrans GPT. Basically, in a nutshell, you can translate your content into up to 1,000 languages. It's multimodal. It uses the latest GPT AI models, including GPT-4 Turbo. Uh, it's extremely easy to use. It's literally copy and paste. And if you're still not sure, it's free to try. They give you 300,000 tokens to use for free. So give it a whirl. Give it a spin. Let me know what you think. If you like the product, leave a comment below. Let me know. Thanks for watching.